Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Almini and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to score every time in gym class VR. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this is not a shooting tutorial or a dribbling tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to score better and more frequently in this game now before we get right into the video i just want to say thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers honestly it means a lot to me i know this is a big stretch but i kind of want to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024 and i know we can do it without any more said let's get right into the video so first before we get into any moves let's just talk about the reason you get blocked and the reason you block in this game so one of the main reasons you get blocked or block in this game especially in a team's game such as 2v2 or 3v3 is because of your teammates now when i say your teammates i mean the offensive and defensive teammates for example i know a lot of people that have really good dribble moves that would do a really good hesitation dribble get their teammate jumping and they feel like they're open for the shot or the dunk and they get blocked same thing for when you're on defense you'll see your teammate jump for something and you'll instantly get on defense realize they're jumping and block them straight away that's one of the main reasons you get blocked and the reason i say main reason is because of course you can get a defender right here shoot in his face and get blocked or you can go really close to the basket shoot and get blocked but if you are playing strategically that is one of the main reasons you get blocked so i'm going to teach you how to prevent that we're going to go through a bunch of moves that will give you the opportunity to pass to shoot to dunk to lay up and much much more so let's get into the first one now this first one's going to be a fake crossover with this you will have needed to either had done a crossover which made you score in a previous play or do a crossover in the play you're doing and then do it again you'll see what i mean so so if you have a defender and you cross them up really really bad go to the rim and dunk the next time your defender knows you're doing a crossover and go up to here, he's going to know you're going for a dunk, right? And what I mean by doing a crossover on the same play is what I want you to do is do a mean crossover and break your defender's ankles. So let's just say you do a really good crossover, break his ankles and you come back. He's already fell for that, right? So now the next time you do that little hesitation dribble like this to do a crossover, he's going to be prepared and not go that way. So this gives you an opportunity to become wide open. So let's just say you do a really good crossover, either score or bring the ball back. What you're now going to do is a fake crossover. So this is going to be a hesitation dribble. So you're going to dribble, you're going to do the same thing and fake the crossover. Now your defender will be over here, which will make you wide open. Now, of course, you can shoot, but the best thing to do in this situation is to fake the shot. As soon as you do that fake hesitation and fake the shot, your defender's going to come up running and jump. That gives you an opportunity to dribble right past them and come up again but remember what i said about the defenders blocking you as soon as they see their defender come past you you go ready to jump they're gonna be really quick to jump and block you so that's why we're gonna do two hesitations so with that we're gonna do the the fake crossover hezzy another hezzy just like that that's gonna get both of the defenders jumping now that's obviously if you want to score or finish at the basket so you've got your first hezzy which has your defender jumping that you do another one which will have the defender jumping so you can jump shoot or obviously run and finish at the basket now you don't have to do that if you are tall and brave enough of course you can do the fake crossover into the hezzy and come up and dunk now you do have a risk if you do have a really good defender right here they will most likely block you that's why passing comes into play so after you do the first hezzy and jump you fake the dunk and pass to your defender over there to get the easy easy bucket now of course this works many ways so of course you can do the whole hesitation dribble over here another one and shoot or you can do the first hezzy and dunk this way or even in the middle this works at every single angle if you don't believe me you can do the fake dunk and pass to someone there there in the corner you can even have a teammate ready to dunk if you come up fake the dunk pass it to him he'll be ready for the dunk I personally like this one. This whole segment of faking the first two defenders will have a big play for the rest of the moves. Most of them are going to be based on this since that's how this game is most likely played. But again, there's going to be so many more moves like this one. Obviously, I won't explain them as much as I did with that one. But now you get the gist of faking defenders. Let's get right to the next move. Now, this next one is a step back. You can even do a normal step back or a James Harden step back. It really depends on what you want to do. Again, this first step is up to you. But if you want... I would do a really good step back midway through the game. So, for example, I can come back, do a really nice step back, 
shoot and make it then the next play you will do the exact same thing so now your defender knows when you do that step back you're most likely going to jump so instead of putting the hand on the ball while stepping back you're just going to dribble it right out so while on the ball cam i go between the legs like this step back and i dribble right past them you can either shoot here if you are wide open or fake another shot so after i dribble past do another fake to get that other defender going and shoot an easy bucket. Now the most important thing about these moves is to have different alternatives. There's a lot of moves that coaches teach which have either zero alternatives or at least one alternative. For example, most would say do a step back if you're open shoot if you're not drive to the paint. That's the two alternatives. With my moves, I like to have at least five things I can do. For example, if I do do the step back and I'm wide open, I'll shoot it. If I'm not, I'll dribble out. If their defender is still over there, I'll shoot it. If not, I'll dribble out again to either shoot over here, come up to dunk, or if their defender is still over there and I'm feeling brave, I can come over dunk. If I want, I can do the same thing, pretend to dunk, pass it to a teammate, or if I was to do another shot, I can fake it, pass it to a teammate, do a alley-oop. I need, I have so many alternatives which will make me score and make me win so many more games. I like to have many many alternatives with every play i do so i'll give you guys three demonstrations one is doing a step back dribbling out and shoot the second one is doing a step back dribbling out faking it and shooting and the third one is going to be obviously faking it and going to the rim so obviously the first one will be so in an in-game situation it will be step back fake into an easy shot then the second one will be the same thing step back fake and fake the other shot to score again. And the third one will obviously be fake the step back into either a dunk or passing it out. Again, if I am missing some alternatives, you guys can make your own alternatives, obviously. It doesn't have to be a dunk. You can go for the dunk and fake into a layup. As long as you have many moves that you can quickly change, then you're most likely gonna score or win a point. So this third one is gonna be for my big men, so I'm gonna quickly make myself a little taller. So now that I'm taller, let's go through this move. So this one is mainly just going to be to dunk or get a quick layup. So one thing I like to do, you can do this if you are small as well, but most bigs will like to do this. So this is going to be a fake pass into the dunk. So what we're going to do is be posting our defender down. We're going to spin, fake the pass into a dunk. Now this looks like this. So what we would be doing is posting our defender up, faking the pass into a dunk. Now again, alternatives, we need alternatives. So again, if you do do that move, you can dribble, fake into a fadeaway or a quick little shot. We can also, instead of faking the pass, actually pass into our teammates. Or we can go through with that exact same move, faking the pass into a hezzy and a quick layup. And one more quick easy one can be faking the pass into a fake dunk and dunking on the other side. Again, alternatives, this is one thing we really need, especially with these moves, it's alternative stuff to do. Now that I'm back to my heist, let me give you guys a few little tips before we go into the next moves. One thing I see a lot of even my teammates doing is jumping and then passing the ball. That's one thing I refuse to do all the time. Unless I have to really do it, I refuse to do it. The reason why is, obviously there's a whole snatching rule within this game. So obviously if I come up and just grab the ball and someone slaps that on my hand, it's my possession, obviously, because that's a rule in the game. And the reason that is, is because my hand is not up and I'm not in the air. As soon as my feet leave the air, even if my hands are here, they can hit the ball whenever they want. So I know some people feel cool by jumping and doing a behind the back pass like that. So the thing I do, especially if I am gonna pass to my teammates, is I'll run up, fake that I'm gonna jump and quickly pass. The reason is, first of all, it gets my defender jumping. It gets their defender looking at me, maybe wanting to give their defender some heads up. And because both of them are jumping because I fake to jump, I pass my teammates, he's got an easy bucket. Another tip is if you are gonna fake these passes or shots, make sure you do them realistically i see a lot of people maybe their jump shot looks like this really slow and when they do a hezzy they'll do this it's not realistic and you're not going to make me jump the reason why is because i know how you shoot and because it doesn't look like you're going to shoot i'm not going to jump so for example when i go up to shoot my hands like this right so if i'm going to do a hezzy i'm going to make sure my hands like that before i dribble out 
This will get your defender jumping so much more. I do have a tutorial, my first ever video, how to hezzy in gym class VR. Make sure you watch that video if you don't know how to hezzy. So just making sure your moves are realistic. So even as the big man, don't just do this. Don't fake the pass like that because they're not gonna think it's a pass. Push the ball out really hard before you jump. Make everything look realistic and make your opponents fall for your moves. Now with that, let's get on to our next move. Now this isn't gonna use alternatives. This is just gonna be kind of some help just for you to score more buckets. Now picture this, you have a defender right here and you are right here. Now, when you jump, now, when you run at the basket like this, your defender's also gonna run. So since he's gonna jump and try block you, the direction he's gonna go is this way. So what you wanna do, instead of scoring this side or straight up so he can block it, is score on the other side. Now this seems like common sense, but I see a lot of people not doing that. Maybe they'll try to do a quick jelly layup like this, where they'll jump, keep it in the air, bring it back, and score this side, it still gets blocked. The reason is because their hand is still over here to block. A quick easy one I like to do is a reverse layup, hitting it off the backboard like that. Again, I'm scoring on this side, so it's really hard for them to reach. If they had unrealistic long arms, maybe they'll graze it, but most likely normal people in this game are not going to touch it. Another simple one as well is obviously doing a reverse dunk. So you can either do two-handed or one-handed. So instead of obviously going up one-handed like this straight up and getting blocked, what I like to do is do a reverse dunk. So I will dunk this direction. Makes it way harder for them to touch the ball. I say this all the time. Whatever direction your defender's going, score on the other side. That's something Kyrie does a lot. If you do watch his clips, he will score on the opposite side of his defender most of the time. And another one's obviously a two-handed dunk. Like that. I know it will be really hard, especially from this direction as well, going on your offhand, but just practice doing left-handed layups just to get that stuff down. And one more that I have started doing quite recently, which gets my opponent jumping, this is mainly for passing the ball, right? So you don't see this much in gym class VR because it's a rule where if the ball is above your shoulders, people can slap out your hands. So because of that, I like to take advantage of that. Since no one really puts the ball above their hands unless they shoot, I fake my shots by putting above my head i'll dribble this side and do a quick stop and fake the shot so i'll dribble dribble fake the shot like this even going up will probably get my defender going now what i can do especially after faking the shot like this and they jump is either shoot or i can pass to either the corner over here to someone there or even someone in the paint now there's not many alternatives for this one but there is if you are doing it from this direction now the reason you might not want to do this from this direction is because most people will stay right here. The reason is, is because if your teammate is over there, their defender's probably going to be over there. If another one's over there, their defender's probably going to be over there. And obviously you've got your own defender. Now, same principle. Obviously I can dribble, fake the shot, shoot it or pass it to any of my teammates. But there is one more thing you can do. And that's obviously throwing it off the backboard and dunking it. The reason this is kind of risky is because People don't fall for this anymore. Now, the only time I do do it is if I dribble, fake the shot so my defender jumps this way, fake another shot so they jump, I throw it off the backboard, underhand, and I'll dunk. Again, this is risky because if you just throw the ball up, everyone's gonna run and try to get it. Another thing you can do as well, instead of dunking the ball, is you can throw it up like this, catch it, and throw it to your teammates for the easy point. Now, what I want you guys to do is, with every single one of these skills and tips that I've taught you is, do the move that you love to do the most. For example, let's just say you like doing a spin-off shot. So let's just say you like faking this way, coming this way and shooting the ball. Think of alternatives. For example, I know I can either fake it so I can just come this way, or obviously I can fake the shot, fake another shot, go to the basket, or from here I can pass. Think of all these alternatives, especially with your signature moves. Many people, especially if you are known in this community, will know your signature moves, especially if you do it a lot of times in one game. It will get picked up and it will get blocked. So you need some alternatives if you do start to get blocked. And that was my last tip for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below what other tutorials you guys would like. Also, if you have any questions about your moves, about any topics, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.